SCP-1396, Jovian Kilsats. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1396 cannot be retrieved by any means currently available to the Foundation. However, as SCP-1396 has shown no hostility or intent to move from its current location, containment efforts limited to coordinating with NASA and other space agencies to prevent the public dissemination of information have been deemed sufficient for the foreseeable future. Description SCP-1396 is a group of five unmarked weaponized artificial satellites of varying size orbiting the planet Jupiter at its L2 Lagrangian point. SCP-1396 appears to be of human origin. Where and when they were constructed remains unknown, as well as how they are transported to their current location. SCP-1396-1 consists of a central hull coated with hexagonal ablative armor plates powered by what are believed to be radioisotope generators at the ends of three evenly spaced booms, each approximately 25 meters in length. The central hull is estimated to have contained over 120 rod-shaped tungsten kinetic bombardment projectiles with an average mass of 220 kilograms, and its total loaded mass is estimated to have been approximately 254,000 kilograms. SCP-1396-2 is a satellite of identical profile and mass to SCP-1396-1, and it is believed to have been rendered inactive during the events of Incident 1396-38, see below. SCP-1396-3 through SCP-1396-5 are all identical satellites of a smaller profile than SCP-1396-1, with generator boom lengths of 21 meters and an estimated loaded mass of approximately 168,000 kilograms. Each of these objects is estimated to have carried approximately 60 kinetic bombardment projectiles, averaging 90 kilograms in mass. All three satellites are inactive and presumed neutralized as of Incident 1396-38. See below. SCP-1396 came to Foundation's attention on redacted date following the detection of anomalous high-frequency radio signals of artificial origin by Foundation Interplanetary Probe, redacted, near Io. Later analysis of the recorded signals indicate that they may have been side lobs from synchronization and targeting data transmission between the individual instances of SCP-1396. Addendum 1396-1 Incident Log 1396-38 Over a period of 18 months, following initial discovery, Redacted recorded over 37 separate events in which SCP-1396 initiated kinetic bombardment attacks against unknown targets within the atmosphere of Jupiter. Analysis of telemetry recorded during 11 of these events resulted in one or more high-energy events at or near the liquid surface of the planet consistent with kinetic impact of one or more bombardment projectiles with a solid body at that location. These incidents culminated in a final event on redacted date, during which high-velocity projectiles of an unknown shape and composition were launched from within the atmosphere towards instances of SCP-1396, following which nearly the entire estimated remaining armament of SCP-1396 was expended against targets on or within the planet, resulting in an estimated 27 atmospheric impacts. During this exchange, all instances of SCP-1396, except for SCP-1396-1, 
suffered extensive damage and were rendered inactive. No further bombardment events have been recorded since. Addendum 1396-2 Incident Log 1396-39 On redacted date, permission was granted by oversight to perform close-range analysis of SCP-1396 utilizing the redacted probe. Upon closing to a distance of approximately 25,000 kilometers, SCP-1396-1 initiated communication with Redacted using an encryption key unique to the Foundation. A transcript of the communication log with time delays removed follows. Mission accomplished within acceptable parameters. You're late. Who is this? Who do you think this is? I've been out here for two years hunting bugs, and I spent the last six months sitting here twiddling my thumbs and watching my buddies' corpses float around in space. Can we please go home now? Where are you from? What the fuck is wrong with you? Is this some kind of sick... Wait a minute. Forensic analysis of recorded transmissions indicate that at this point, SCP-1396-1 initiated a routine network handshake synchronization request, to which the mission control computers automatically responded with a standard diagnostic data packet, which included the current date and time. Oh, shit. No further transmissions have been detected from SCP-1396, and SCP-1396 has not responded to any attempts at communication since.